Hello, I'm Dan Tomberlin, and I'm the author of Pentecostal Sacraments, Encountering God at the Altar. The seeds of this book were planted many years ago, back in the 1990s, as I was serving as a pastor in a Pentecostal congregation. Our church was growing, and we were having really good worship services, Pentecostal worship services that were enthusiastic, in which the Spirit was moving, and people were praying in the altars. But even though that things seemed to be really good, I left church each Sunday sensing that we were missing uh, an essential component to worship. Um, frankly, I, I had this sense that our worship was somewhat shallow. And that experience led me to begin to do some research in the scripture and in the history of the church to try to find a way to make the Pentecostal worship experience a more full experience. And in my research and in my studies, um, I really fell in love with the sacraments. Uh, traditionally, in, in Protestant worship, the sacraments are water baptism and the Lord's Supper. Um, but in Pentecostal sacraments, I highlight four practices uh, that, we, that we call sacraments. Um, water baptism, the Lord's Supper, washing of the saints' feet, and anointing with oil and laying on hands praying for the sick. In fact, as Pentecostals, we're very familiar with the last one, uh, anointing with oil, laying on hands, praying for the sick. And that was the paradigm for me, um, that Pentecostals are not anti-sacramental. We may resist liturgy. Uh, we may resist the formality of liturgy, but Pentecostals have never been anti-sacramental. From the earliest days of the movement, we were using oil, a means, to mediate the healing power of the Holy Spirit. We were, another means was the laying on of hands, and we talked about the transfer of the anointing or the transfer of the Holy Spirit. And so I began thinking if we can embrace that kind of sacramentalism, then maybe there's more to water baptism than simply a mere symbol. Uh, maybe there's more to the Lord's Supper than a symbol. Maybe there's something really there. Maybe that, that this, through the means of water baptism, the Lord's Supper, and washing the saints' feet, through those various means that we are somehow encountering the Spirit of God. I've been very, very pleased through the years as uh, this book has been received. It's received um, good reviews, peer reviews, and also it has uh, been used by pastors across the United States and in some parts of the world it's been translated in a couple of other languages. Um, the other thing is that it has been picked up and it's being used in college and seminary classrooms. And so I'm hopeful that as you engage the reading, that you will find that this book is faithful to Pentecostalism, faithful to the essence of Pentecostalism, but it also grounds Pentecostalism in the historic faith of the church. So the book is available on Amazon.com. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Hope you'll read it and take time to think about it. God bless you.